never done this ever before, doing trees. I was gonna do 30 or 25 gallons to the acre. They're taller than I was thinking. I'm gonna line it up with those trees at the stir point. I'm gonna come down to the altitude. Here we go. Never seen that before. That looks really good. Diesel, Landon, diesel into the diesel truck. A little joke there. I put gasoline in this here truck one time. This is embarrassing. I'm gonna put it on here. Dumb. We stopped at the gas station on the way down here. I got a diesel truck and I put gasoline in it. No good, no good, but it's still running. How's it going folks? Mike with New Wet Ag. We're headed out to do a job. I've never done this ever before, doing trees. And I believe it's like fir trees or some type of evergreen tree. A fir tree technically wouldn't be uh, an evergreen. And anyhow, we're doing trees. We're doing, I think it's bagworms maybe, controlling the bagworms. We'll get more information when we get there, but uh, got to the shop this morning. The rig was still uh, dirty from fungicide when we were in Kentucky. If you guys didn't see, I don't know if those videos are out or not, but we went to Kentucky, set some records down there using T60X covering acres that I don't know that anybody else has ever covered that many acres in one day off of the New Way Ag trailer running two drones, but got to the shop, had to clean out the tanks a little bit, had to swap out some drones. Some drones were already stored away, so I threw those up top, but uh, now at the gas station, Gonna get fueled up. Then we're gonna go meet the client out at the location. And no idea exactly how it's gonna go. We're just gonna send the drone out there to spray these trees and we'll bring you guys along. Diesel in this truck, gasoline in the generator. If you don't know, make sure to watch that video. Guys ask me all the time, how do you get jobs? Getting jobs is gonna be completely honest with you. It's hard. But this job that we're doing today, it wasn't even my doings. Like I did not get this job. Dennis actually is doing fungicide work in Indiana right now. And he got this call and was like, can you go take care of this for me? I have to help the brother out. But Dennis is a perfect example of what it takes to make this type of business work. He literally was door knocking. He's Everybody that he gets to talk to, he's either giving a card, educating them on their his drones, how they work, and it's talking. It takes talking to people to make this business work. If you're just gonna think that you're gonna buy a rig and you're gonna have it setting in your driveway and people are gonna call you, it's probably not going to work for you. I'm actually gonna give Dennis a call and see how the running is down, out there. Yes, sir. Hey Dennis, I'm headed out here to uh, take care of this uh, spraying job for you this morning. Yes. Wanted to see how's the running been out there. It's going pretty good, you know, little little issues here and there, but nothing major, so. Nice. Yeah. Alrighty, sounds good. I just uh, thought I'd let you know I'm headed out here. I'm gonna have no clue what I'm doing, of course. I've never sprayed trees. Have you sprayed trees? Yep. What? What? Best way is just go around the boundary, manual plus the thing. Or just build it on your mat, doesn't matter, and then um, manually control the elevation. Okay. The first batch of trees is actually right out back there. They're taller than I was thinking. I can see there. there's one tree that is not doing good. And looks like it's dying of something. What type of trees are they, and what's the goal here? Cane and firs, I guess they're they are. Okay. I guess it was an almost or it was an extinct pine tree or fir tree. So okay. I, I don't call them a pine tree. Yeah. I got yelled at. <laughs> I did that one time. I called a I called a spruce tree a pine tree. Yeah, I don't like, oh, <laughs> it's okay. it's me if it's got pine needles, it's a pine yeah. tree. Yeah. It's got leaves, it's not. Yep, yep. So I guess they thought it was extinct. I don't know. Supposedly we found a seed somewhere. We hmm. started these couple orchards. We have three different groups of them uh, here. And then there's a company that comes and collects the seeds every year and then huh. grows more. So wow. I guess we hold the rights to that 
tree or something. I don't know. Okay. So, so the fir tree is a native in this area? It's a no, it's not. It's so over the years, I guess, because I was talking to the one guy that helped with it the other day, that um, Jack that you talked to. It's a tree that can be grown here. So, like normal Christmas trees won't grow here, okay. I guess. Well, okay. so this one is born and bred for like this type of area with clay soil. Huh. I guess it's supposed to smell good. It's supposed to have the perfect shape. Oh, so the, so this tree needles well. So I this guess. tree was technically just for Christmas trees. I, yeah, I guess so. Wow. Huh. And we're treating it for what what type of insecticide bug specifically? I think they're bagworms. Okay. I think it's those ones that make the little white. Yep. Kind of looks like webs. spider webs yep. all over yep. them. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, have you guys treated them before with drones? No. So but, yeah, we'll fly this one from up here, yep. and then the other locations you, you said you we can, might. Yeah, get. you can drive back to those ones if you kind of look on a map and just look on your phone yeah. or whatever. Yep. You can yep. kind of weasel yeah. your way in through some of the plot areas. And get, you'll come in the driveway. For this one, you'll come in clear up here. Okay. You'll see the sign up here, and then just kind of follow along the buildings. When you get back here, uh, there's a drive that comes clear back. It's kind of rough, but you can you can definitely get back there. Okay, cool. So just be careful of some rough spots. All right. So, so yeah, I'll probably mix up for uh, all of it. They're they're saying around four acres total, maybe less. I mixed up 200 gallon yesterday. I mixed up for five acres. Okay, basically. they do, and it and, it came and out. Came out really close. Okay. So I'll mix up for five acres then. I would probably, and, and I was gonna do 30 or 25 gallons to the acre. What were you doing yesterday? I did like 35. 35. 30 gallons to the acre. I don't know how long that's gonna take. It didn't take too long. to start with i'm just going to take 13 gallons obviously going to be watching my fpv a lot there we go aircraft preparing to take off point recorded that thing sounds so good a nice little group of pine trees there i uh, see there's one dead right there so I'm gonna say start there, I'm gonna line it up with those trees, hit the third point, it's gonna come down to the altitude, and we're gonna start flying forward. Oh yeah, it's blowing it down in there. That's a rainbow. Never seen that before. gallons with me on the first load had solenoid issues sometimes those stick I don't have time to clean it out the solenoid so I just did the last little load I think it's six gallons I did with just two nozzles in the back switching to this second drone so we can have four nozzles and then we're gonna keep flying at manual plus and then we're gonna set it in there it's flying so slow that I'm gonna let it terrain fall it should be able to figure it out
the reason I'm doing uh, manual plus and altitude uh, terrain falling is so I can get my acres. That's nice. So that was two acres. All for this location. A little wow with that building there. Couldn't see much. Sorry about that. We'll go. Uh, we'll go to the next spot. You'll see it better there. Having this FPV camera this good, you can tilt it down. All right, got the boundary. There we go. Little tiny plot, hit end. Hit save field. We do that. Let's come in here, change this. Suck it in some. Yep, just like that. Save, save. Hit use. 30. Bring this down. Light speed, yep, start. Here we go. Location. Shouldn't take long at all. Gonna come in here, go to manual, manual plus, got all the parameters in there, good to go. Go ahead and take it off. nothing around here. First spot had other trees around it so then it was sensing those and was stopping at times. This one's real nice. Blowing it down in there, moving that canopy around, looks real good. go done we did uh, 150 gallons on approximately five acres of fir tree knocking out the bagworms the larvae stage I think is where they're at right now they don't want them to grow into maturity where they create those webs on the on the furs but done slow a lot of gallons per acre it's cool this is the only way they could have done this from the top down running the 60 liter tank on the t60 which is 15.9 gallons and then we have four nozzles front and back had some issues first thing this morning with one of the, the drones that had a solenoid stuck so I got to clean that out actually here on the last field literally the last run I had to go to alternate mode to only run the two back nozzles because another solenoid stuck don't know what the problem is we have had 
some issues with these solenoids for some stupid reason, don't know why, but we're gonna get that fixed. We're gonna wrap it and call it a day. Hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies. We'll see you guys on the next one.